Okay. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the podcast. We're going to be talking about some very interesting things that a lot of people might be interested in. I know I would. Um, I am. <laughs> I am yeah. interested. <laughs> um, yeah, so my name is Juan Ortiz, Juan Guillermo Ortiz. I'm over here with my fellow traveling friend, Lucas. Yeah, I'm Lucas Villas Boas, if you're wondering. Yeah, baby, look at this. <laughs> so I'm from Brazil, Sao Paulo. Um, yeah, I've been traveling for, what, three years? Hold on, you're gonna shake my hand, brother. Right. Yes, <laughs> that's gonna be the best intro in the world. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about uh, traveling because that seems to be something that everybody f really is into. Um, so, yeah, you could talk about a little bit about yourself, Lucas. Who are you? All right. Um, my name is Lucas. I am 25 years old. Um, what do I do? Yeah, what do you do, bro? Yeah, what do I do? Um, I'm currently traveling in South America. It's been almost six months. I started, oh. I started my trip in Santiago, Chile, in February. So, yeah, I stay there two months, 60 days. And I decided to come to one of the best countries in the world. Wow. Which is, which the name is Colombia. <laughs> Why, 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 why do you say that? What makes you? That's a big statement. Uh, yeah. What? Why is the best? Why? So yeah, I think Colombia has so much to offer. For, I would say, if you if you are looking if you are looking for, um, meeting nice people, lovely people, and um, good food, and amazing views. Which I can add some amazing sunsets as well. I'm gonna be adding like B-roll during this video, so there's people can like see Colombia. I'm gonna be adding like videos on the side. Yeah, that's my yeah. signature. Yeah, and also we're gonna we're gonna be talking about um, some um, favorite cities in the world. Ooh. So Ooh, yeah, okay, that will be interesting. I want to start this off with this topic right here. It's called. The importance of travel for homo sapiens this might be a little bit scientific or not scientific and then whatever your beliefs are this might be a little controversial or not but this is what i believe and what i feel makes sense to me so i'm gonna say it so we are naturally a nomadic race a nomadic species we we developed and we evolved while we moved across the earth's crust so you know we were first hunter gatherers and when we needed to look for more food and more natural resources we traveled and that's how we evolved for hundreds and thousands of years if not millions if i'm not mistaken um so naturally we have this urgency in our dna in our essence to travel to move to see different things to meet different people to meet different tribes um, it is only after the Industrial Revolution, actually, that we just stood still. You know, everything became very comfortable. Yeah. Cities evolved. Technology evolved. So people just naturally stayed in one place. And that actually is, uh, is comfortable and nice for some people. But then there's something in common that I hear a lot from everybody, including any age, any race, any and everything. And it's... I want to travel. Everybody says yeah. that. Everybody's like, I just want to save money to travel. I want to travel. And it's because of that. It's because that is natural. Oh, this is part. It's in our blood. So definitely traveling, not vacation. Let's put that on the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Vacation is different than travel. Vacation is like you could literally be in America and go to like, I don't know, freaking Cabo or Cancun. And it's like you're in a small America. <laughs> in yeah. outside of it but traveling Bobo, yeah exactly I would say that yeah yeah travel is like all right go to a hostel go put a backpack on and like go it's a lifestyle isn't it? yeah yeah 
yeah, it's a, it's a bit complicated to talk about this subject because. Yeah, yeah, you're from I Brazil. Just, yeah. You actually, I'm going to throw this in there, buddy. You actually went to Ireland. Yeah. After, Split, talk about a little bit about that because that is like one of the key things of why you're traveling right now. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's. Yeah, let's let's go let's go to Chile and South America, and then we're gonna be traveling to Ireland. So yeah, I just decided to buy some tickets to Chile, and yeah, why not explore some hostel experience? Yeah, um, fucking amazing. Which is yeah, it's yeah you're gonna you're gonna shake it's gonna shake her mind. Yeah, and yeah, it was a week. I stay there. Six nights, six six nights actually. Okay. And I met so many people, but at that time I didn't speak English. My English was so poor. Yeah. Yeah, I mean your English is good now. You speak three languages: Portuguese, Spanish, and English. So. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. Yeah. More power so, to you. Yeah. Be yeah. Definitely helps you connect with more people. Sure. Yeah. Very important. So, and also Spanish, I. I couldn't understand, and if you know the Chilean accent, um, I don't know. It's not. It's not like Spanish. I would say like Chilean, <laughs> Chilean language. Right? Yeah, they have their own way of of speaking. So, yeah, saludos to to Chile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's so, um, let's touch let's touch a little bit of these topics so we can have. Yeah, them, um, okay, let's so. go through. All right, so we talked, we spoke about the importance of traveling for our species or race or whatever you think we are. That is up to you to decide. You know, there's just feel that out, bro. Um, favorite location so far. Favorite location gonna, so you far. You can start, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna put mine All in. All right. There. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, yeah, that's so hard. It, it's like mostly about the experience, I believe. It's not really about it the is. place. It's what you live in that place that yeah. actually and and the people you 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 met in that yeah. place. So that changes every fucking day. Yeah. Let's talk about like the latest so far. Like in the last three months, in Colombia, what has been your favorite location? Okay, in Colombia, my favorite city so far, and I think it will last forever. <laughs> will be um, is Medellin. Um yeah the city has an amazing amazing vibe yeah. amazing people um they are so proud of being a paisa <laughs> yeah they so, fucking love yeah. It. oh if you don't know what paisa is is a person from 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 Medellin isn't he yeah Antioquia I See, believe or yeah. El Cafetero be paisa I think a Pereira is also paisa isn't but like the real paisa paisa is Medellin it's from yeah the, the people from Medellin yeah um yeah Medellin will be number one second one in Colombia yeah in Colombia you, we're yeah, talking let's stick yeah 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 we're talking about Colombia yeah yeah like top three in Colombia so Medellin I would say Palomino. Ooh. It's a small village. Yeah, yeah. The, the coast, beach, yeah, north coast, coast of Colombia. Um, and the third, in the third place, I would say Pereira. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> be yeah. here for two days. All right. Yeah, that would be like yeah. Pereira. It's a nice different vibe. I mean, we're up in the mountains, by the way. Yeah. So like, we're not really in Pereira, Pereira. We're like in the outskirts. We're on the top of a mountain. I'll probably put some footage of the mountains anywhere now yeah, so you can see we, we got <laughs> yes we got some yeah. we got a little birdie right here <laughs> have fun with this one a lot definitely like to take oh i just shocked my lip so hard oh my god um so yeah what about yourself top wow. three isn't it so fun to hear like your voice and your headphones yeah, it just sounds voice. like we're in the joe rogan experience okay <laughs> So it's it, this is a, a simple conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're just chilling, guys. Yeah. So if you guys are chilling with us, welcome to the chill session in the studio. Um, so, okay, so vacation and travel are two different things. Vacation is mostly like associated with like a resort or a hotel, like just one place in one location. Um, hostel hopping with a backpack on 
you're gonna get a more human experience. It's not gonna be like a tourist trap where like everybody that like is into heavy tourism or like the usual places where everybody sees on Instagram or social media, you're gonna find there. When you backpack, <coughs> when you backpack and you go to hostels, everybody is on the same vibe as you. Yeah. Everybody is just out there to meet people That's so and true. to connect with stories. And that's where you're going to find, like, people that, my, from my experience, is, like, everybody wants to be with each other. My experiences from being in, like, resorts or, like, hotels before is, like, everybody's doing their own thing, mostly. Like, like there's activities that happen in these resorts and these hotels, but mostly, like, there's mostly, like, like families with, like, the grandpa and, like, the kid and the baby, which is cool. That's fine. But I feel like if you want that more, like that like like uh, spiritual experience <laughs> yeah the feeling it's, of traveling yeah of this braving and definitely yeah. hit up hostels and the money you spend is literally like 80 percent cheaper <laughs> than like you would find like i've I literally like the i've found i found hostels that are like four dollars a night four to fifteen dollars twenty dollars twelve dollars and yeah it's insane it has nothing to do with the quality of experience it has nothing to do with that because what makes it fun is the things you do with the people the conversations you 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 partake and yeah man what yeah and i even answered my favorite location but yeah now now into the favorite location <laughs> so far is actually the north coast of colombia yeah so far because of the experiences i've had be definitely like the hostels up there um i've met amazing people i actually met him like <laughs> yeah we like just three met weeks in, ago or two yeah, weeks ago buritaca in buritaca yeah. tairona el viajero uh, which is not even i don't even know if that's tairona or not but that's like in the middle of tairona or buritaca yeah, yeah, yeah and like it was lit as hell like that it was dope um uh, yeah the atmosphere of the hostel was was nice. amazing yeah, yeah there's a pool in the sand next to the ocean and yeah actually I, I i travel alone and i was in a in in a dorm yeah. with two other guys who were traveling alone too so we just got the same day in the in the hostel and we met each other and yeah how's it going man yeah yeah all good all right yeah what are you doing here traveling alone yeah me too Let's have let's have some 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 fun, yeah. And we we just went to the bar, and we met this guy. <laughs> yeah, and I was just chilling. Yeah, like, yo, what's up? Yeah, Thanks. but it it, it was a, like a, a, f a fun moment, a fun experience, because we didn't force anything. Yeah, just we sat just there. Sat there. Yeah, <laughs> just gonna have a beer. Yeah, chill. What are you doing here? Yeah. Yeah. All 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 the the introducing stuff like of conversation stuff and yeah yeah we didn't force anything we're just chilling bro and that's yeah. the thing that's the cool thing about like hostel traveling is that like you just flow into conversations with the randomest people from all over the world yeah. like you could be in colombia meeting people from like i've met people from like japan and the uk in one day in the same spot and everybody just wants to connect and have fun bro and like and Funny enough, like I discovered the north coast of Colombia. Well, not that I discovered it. I came here and I pillaged <laughs> all the villages and took all the. No, like when I was actually. This was at the beginning of April. I was shooting uh, a promo video for uh, a sports betting academy that I have, and I was meeting my business partner. The last day that I was going to leave back, so I was in Santa Marta, um, I actually booked a hostel the last day because i i just hostels are lit and just, they're really 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 affordable and i met a group of people there that i just became friends with and my flight was at like eight in the morning to come back to pereira yeah and um it was five in the morning and i was lit as fuck bro i was like oh my god my flight isn't what if he was there What's up? What city was that? Santa Marta, El Viajero. And Santa Marta. Yeah, there's yeah. another Viajero in uh, in Santa Marta. And then they were like, yeah, we're going to another hostel tomorrow in Buritaca. And I met this dude, uh, Josiah. I don't know if you're watching this, Josiah. But yeah, I also met him there. He's from uh, Florida, in the States. And I met all these other people that are from like Colombia and the States too. 
and they were like yeah we're going there and then we looked at the i looked at the hostel with josiah and like yeah we're going there fuck my flight let's go yeah and then i discovered literally like one of my favorite places so far just like that last minute no plan just just because of that experience of of being with other other travelers and you're and and i'm sure you have a lot of stories like that too or like you just yeah, end sure up thing, meeting yeah. somebody i don't know if you want to share any of those but yeah no i i just, I just like to say that sometimes it those decisions look reckless like oh yeah. i'm i'm fucking drunk and i've got a flight tomorrow morning but fuck that me i'm not i'm not flying tomorrow i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna stay here sharing this like this vibe and meeting people and um, but no if if you're traveling if you do travel alone or with your mate or if whatever just let it go just flow state flow baby state, yeah <laughs> just flow state baby yeah relax and live the present moment with the people you are you are having fun yeah. where you are so yeah that's definitely still be responsible but of course fucking, yeah learn to improvise bro like life doesn't have to be so fucking meticulously <laughs> planned out like yeah. notes and goals and from three to five i have to do this and yeah it doesn't have to, to be it doesn't always have all that stuff no just yeah, yeah. Let it um, flow. so yeah your first your top one Ooh, your top okay. three actually yeah i'll say north of columbia the coast columbia. that whole section uh california okay california is fucking incredible bro like literally that's like a different country inside of the states and pff, i love the water so like any island bro like about the uh, fuck uh, about, uh, hmm. where else I've, i haven't been to fuck bro i still have so much to see i still haven't seen southeast asia i still haven't seen europe i've only been to iceland for a couple days with my buddy manny uh that was like what like five years ago uh but fuck bro when, when was your first trip like getting out of I Columbia luckily or? have uh, incredible family so like I've traveled since I was a baby literally like my parents would take us to like Venezuela Islas del Rosario Islas Canarias when we were always like still in Pampers and and I like it, I like the expression yeah yeah it's still in Pampers <laughs> shitting my fucking ass and <laughs> uh, <laughs> um uh yeah um <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna say those two because I feel like when I go to Southeast Asia, like Philippines, Indonesia, Cambodia, Bali, Thailand, I'm gonna be like, wow. Yeah, your 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 mind is about to to explode. Yeah. Blow up. There's something with that. With there's something with Southeast Southeast Asia that I've always had. That just I don't know, bro. I probably lived there in one of my past lives because <laughs> I just there's just something with that the energy of that place so whenever i hear it or see it in videos or pictures i just my eyes just go like oh, oh wait i'm gonna put it there mexico mexico yeah cancun bro but like yeah just just that just cool. it was just because of the experience i had there i was there like 2016 with my family and then i went there alone with my buddy Vineros. we were shooting some of the videos for the academy that i have the sports betting academy bet live academy free shout out um shameless promotion <laughs> um <laughs> uh Fair shooting enough. some of the classes there that was in october last year so that's 2020 um as soon as like airports opened and like people were like leaving their countries after like still in covid like yo fuck covid um uh i was like yeah i'm out i need to go to mexico um and yeah it's that was fun as hell bro because of like the experience and actually i stayed in a resort when in i went mexico. to cancun yeah, the, yeah i was there for like 10 days and then on the last day this is this is the thing about fucking travel bro so on yeah. the last day there was a fucking hurricane that came to blast cancun so our flight got canceled so so i was like all right no more resort let's go to a hostel and that night bro i met so many incredible people in that hostel it's called mayan monkey it's uh, called destiny yeah <laughs> there we it's go called destiny and like i had so much fun bro for like 80 percent off of the price that i paid at that resort 
Um, I still had fun at the resort, but there's just so much like the experience is just so much different in the hostel, bro. Would you would you tell me how much did you pay for a night in the resort? Yeah, or in okay. for a night. Yeah, uh, that was about I spent about two hundred fifty dollars a night. Ooh. Yeah, only yeah. it was all inclusive. Okay, so so it was like f unlimited that's, everything. Yeah, that's not too bad, but like it yeah, is it bad. No, it's bad. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's fun for like a day or two, but not. Not don't spend three thousand dollars in ten days, bro. Like, don't do that. You could literally I'd fucking travel for like three months or more in hostels. It's actually way more. Yeah, um, let's but, um, let's just make do a compare. I compare here. Like, okay, you try you you spend how much per night? That was about two hundred two hundred fifty dollars a night. Okay, in the resort, all inclusive. Okay, if you go to Europe, I mean, what's the The most expensive country in Europe would be like UK. England, yeah. yeah, UK and in in Germany. All right, yeah, you will spend like twelve euro per night, fifteen dollars per night in a hostel. Like some dope shit. Yeah, sometimes you find a cool hostel, like with chill people, nice people, nice party. If you're looking for for a party or not um okay this is about the experience you 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 need to have or you what you, you want to have um i'm sure if you would stay if you stay in a hostel what you think you 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 will um meet more people or less people than stay in a, people, in a bro. yeah Like literally, like when I went to that, so th that that like uh, my sister actually was the one that like put me onto hostels. My a younger sister, uh, she, she fucking traveled the whole How world old is already. She? She's 25 right now. She just turned 25. She when she did like a semester in the Netherlands, and so that was she literally saw all of Europe and Asia. Some part of big big part of Asia, India, and all that, just hostels everywhere, bro. And like, yeah. while I was in Colombia, because uh, I moved to Colombia like four years ago, I was raised in New York. I was born right here, and like I was out here just like from Pereira Mountains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just out here, and she was just like she pulled up randomly. That was 2018, 2017 towards the end, or 2018 towards the end, I believe. Out of nowhere, I came here and she was like, hey, like literally out of nowhere. And she just pulled up and she was like, we're going to some hostels in Cartagena. And I was like, oh, I've never been to any hostels. And then that's same. What's that? Hostel? What's that? I always, is that that movie that everybody, they kill, they <laughs> kill everybody? <laughs> that movie Hostel? So like, I don't want to get killed and like get my organs removed. Um, I don't want to be robbed. Or <laughs> yeah. yeah all What do you stuff? mean? Bunk beds? Like, is that yeah. safe? <laughs> or random strangers? Yeah, <laughs> and share some bathrooms. Like share a bathroom? Oh no! Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. So like, and and then that f that first night, we literally were in like Cartagena for like I don't know, like five six days in like four different hostels, three different hostels. That first night, we met like these girls from Austria. I don't know if you guys are watching. I don't know if the girls are watching, but and like, it was so much fun, bro. <laughs> I was my first experience just meeting random ass people from another country in Colombia, and they were there like, "Yeah, we're gonna go fucking turn up tonight." And I was Why like, not? "Yeah, we're yeah. turning up. I like you guys. Let's go and have some fun." And we did. We went out and had a lot of fun. Had a re really interesting conversations. That's something I always always seem to try to indulge in, or just like flow in. I don't like to just talk about bullshit like. Like above the surface shit like oh my god it's so hot tomorrow it's going to rain none of that like 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 really like whoa who are we what is our purpose yeah mm, what are, are our weaknesses that we must improve on like deep upon. conversations yeah i always try to like see what else we can indulge in because that's where i believe is where the actual growth is especially meeting people from from different cultures and just different life experiences everybody has something to share 
that if you're willing to Everyone receive, has, yeah. you're willing to be open. Keep that in mind. Yes, Keep always. That in mind. Always. Like, we don't know shit. Yeah. Nobody knows shit. All we are yeah. is just learning from each other. Yeah. So definitely always be open to learning and always be open to sharing. But genuinely, though, like, don't just fucking talk bullshit to make yourself seem like something you're not. Like, always be authentic and genuine. Very important. And that's something that like, I see a lot in the, in the hostile culture and the traveling culture is that people are just like... You know, you're going to find those people that are just, like, reckless and are trying to have fun. And they're, like, the younger kids, I would say, the ones that are, like, 18 and are just leaving to travel. Which is cool. That's cool. Yeah. But then you have, like, the more mature, quote-unquote, like, people that are, like, all right, well, what's up? Let's talk. <laughs> yeah, let's talk. And an another thing that, that I just remember now, um, talking about the age. Okay, if you are 18, 19, okay, um, fair play my from my point of view you need to uh, meet as many people as you can and if you are tra if, if you want to travel and stay in a in a hostel or an, in a hotel or whatever just try to meet as many people as you can in the city you are because that will be so useful to you when you are I don't know, 20, 25, you never know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just met, I just met this guy two weeks ago. <laughs> We share like, oh, what's our, are you on Instagram and stuff like that? Yeah, I yeah, am. Okay. And we kept texting each other during this, during yeah. this time and sharing some thoughts and stuff. And I just texted him two days ago, actually. <laughs> I told him, okay, I'm going to Pereira near your house like coffee reg region in in colombia yeah let's let's meet for, for yeah for i was some like talk. yeah pull yeah. up i was like yeah you can stay here if you want <laughs> yeah so that's that tells a lot about um like being open to share things to be gentle and i think the most important thing is to be yourself when you're traveling alone you just Ha you, you have the opportunity to be yourself that i'm gonna i'm gonna you're, you're literally starting the mind expansion part yeah. right there that's perfect yeah so yeah tra traveling alone holy when, when you tra when you're traveling or meeting someone it's like two different words and getting each other know like okay what you have to offer what you have to um to share with me your yeah, yeah. your experiences And when you're talking about um, meeting people, my first tip is you gotta you gotta speak English, because when important. you when you speak English, your word do like this. Yes, you are um, you are not just consuming any information in your language, because yeah. information in, in English are everywhere so bro yeah there's a lot of knowledge in english yeah if you if you don't speak english bro then learn please, for it's never too late yeah doesn't matter how old you are and i don't care what your brain says you can yeah. learn a language it's about self-care it's about your it's about it's about what? the decision Like, I'm gonna fucking learn this language yeah, no matter got, what. Yeah. And you're gonna do it. And when you're when we're talking about mind expansion, we're talking about um, learning languages and learning yourself for what? Well, mm, this is the most important thing. Yeah, you gotta, like a you universal. Gotta, yeah. You could be anywhere in the world if you know English. Yeah, in the third in, in the third place, I would say meeting people so your mind just go to another level you you can imagine especially solo traveling like the way your mind just starts to it starts to like it feels like it just opens up like going back to our the importance of travel for our for our race for humans is yeah we go back to evolution like we we continue that like natural progression of growth as we as we travel as we meet new people as we we analyze ourselves in a different place from a different perspective because 
it, what traveling does is it just changes your perspective and when you're looking at the same thing from a different view you are now going to learn about this with things that you could have never seen because you're now in a different place and yeah. that's when your actual growth and even your intelligence like expands yeah emotional intelligence your knowledge your your need to connect with people you need to share to receive and when you are outside of your bubble yes you just find out you are stronger than you thought yes Ooh. so yeah you find out that you are stronger than you yeah thought. that's fucking true bro because okay yeah. i can i can sleep in a bunk bed i can share a bathroom with other travelers yeah i can sleep two hours per night i'm okay <laughs> and yeah and i can that one day where you sleep the whole day yeah you're just like, oh, fuck everything i'm sleeping all day and that's okay too uh, yeah. so yeah yeah when yeah when you're talking about traveling you I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask you. This is probably something I don't know who the fuck is watching this. Yeah. But if if, if there's two people watching this, or two thousand, or two hundred thousand, or if they're watching <laughs> in twenty twenty eight or twenty some random oh, ass yeah. date, like I'm gonna ask you something. Yeah. Go for it. What is your daily budget here in Colombia, like as a try, like traveling? Because you know there's gonna be a big ass fucking mind blown thing where people think you need all this money to travel but you could be smart as fuck like this guy right here save up for a good amount if you have yeah. if you are lucky and you made your, or you or if not even you're lucky if you made yourself the opportunity to maybe make income in euros dollars or pounds or any like first world currency that is strong as hell anywhere else you can fucking do it bro yeah so um yeah what what is your budget like daily budget or weekly like yeah so i'm gonna start talking about um in 2018 i went to live in ireland ireland is part of europe and their currency is euro so that means a lot because if you yeah. are getting paid that's what you and you didn't even know english you know english or no like um, very basic very basic yeah there you go yeah. you see like fucking no excuses okay yeah i just went i i i had finished my degree and i i thought yeah if i if i don't go to another country to live another experience i'm not gonna go so that's the moment that's the opportunity to go so yeah. i decided ireland because don't get married when you're 21 guys don't do it <laughs> still you are still haven't grown yet you have yeah, neither 22 to just wait a bit wait yeah. wait Enjoy. till you grow wait yeah. till you figure out who you are bro don't settle so fast guys and <laughs> okay <laughs> all right keep going my bad yeah all right and so i went i went to live in ireland so um because they they the, the language is english and the currency is euro and at that time there were many opportunities to work and to travel too so if if you are in europe you you must know the should i say yeah, yeah. doesn't mind yeah, fucking say it yeah like ryanair it's a low cost and yeah, yeah. How, how does it go in yeah, low cost airline low cost airline that's the word so and yeah i had i had the the, the opportunity the chance to go i did go and I lived there almost three years, so I could save some money. And I would say in Europe, if you want to travel, um, like backpacking, traveling, your budget would would be like 30 euro, euro per day. It, of course, it depends on where you are. Of course, Go spend that on a fucking coffee in Starbucks. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I, I would Can put like sixty dollar coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I would put like fifteen, a nice hostel per night, and like five, five euro, euro per per meal. However, talking about South America, most of the countries, most of the like ninety five percent because <laughs> Chile. Chile, Chile is, has a good economy. Yeah, Chile has a good a good economy and the price would be like, like in Euro. Yeah. But if you're talking about Brazil, Peru and 
Colombia, especially because if we're talking about Colombia, we are in Colombia. And my budget per day is around, I would say per per week, because I think about about weekly weekly bu budget. And 80, 80 euro per per week. It's not it's good, bro. It's not much. It's not much. It's not much. Spent. And I spent fucking two times that one in one day in a resort. People, yeah. not even I. Like that's what usually people do, bro. Yeah, but keep other thing in mind. It depends on your your way of life. Because yeah. if you if you wanna if you wanna um, eat in a proper restaurant and eat like breakfast lunch and dinner in in the the best restaurant of town no way you're gonna spend like more yeah, maybe like do that like once a month or some shit yeah with like so somebody you're like oh i met this person and let's fucking go yeah some answering fucking your question so <laughs> wow like 15 per day 15 euro per day that would be like in south seven, america in south america that's, too, that's yeah, yeah that's that's much that's uh that's you don't you don't go to starbucks you fucking spend that shit in a one yeah, coffee that's okay <laughs> people so. spend that daily in a coffee in new york every fucking day they're like i'm going to starbucks 15 dollar frappe fucking massive yeah and, like, and then they're like oh my god i can't travel i don't have enough money and like nah yeah, it's all about your priorities, priorities are just yeah. fucking somewhere yeah. else um, and also maybe it's the the lack of information too. Like I don't want to be too mean to people. Oh shit! I keep shocking my lip. Um, like it's just a fault of information. I just feel like you know, like also like there's this big ass misconception of going to South America. You're gonna get kidnapped by the cartel or some shit like that. Especially like in Colombia, because the media is still taking advantage of like people getting kidnapped like all these all these movies and all these shows narcos and all these things or like people think that's what colombia is like that's how colombia was like 40 years ago now the real danger here is the fucking government here yeah. not even the cartel yeah. like the government is the fucking mafia here like that's who you have to be yeah, careful yeah in brazil is the same yeah right? yeah yeah like even the i think like, i don't even think the government is actually in on all the drug trafficking like yeah there you go don't fucking kill me please um but yeah i'm exposing the colombian government but everybody should know this by now um so yeah, we've we if if you if you don't know if you if you don't search about the country you you can have this image yeah. of the country. Go like, and like lo live it and experience it for yourself like and go alone, bro. Like don't go with your fucking friend that like needs like fucking pampers to go out and like a yeah. girl that needs 20 pounds of makeup to go fucking eat no, breakfast like now nah, you that. need like if you either go alone or you come with a friend, make sure that a friend is a fucking adventurer too. Like that spirit of like, yeah, let's go get uncomfortable. Let's go meet new people. Like that's that's also the thing about solo traveling is that like you're out of your comfort zone like at all times. You have nobody yeah. to fucking talk to you that you know. You have to go and like yeah, you've got you've got two options. Yeah, yeah. Or you go and talk to someone you don't know. Or number two, you just be in peace with yourself which is so important sometimes yeah. you you're not gonna have someone to talk to it's gonna be yourself so yeah, yeah be in peace and those moments are so important like i, I can't describe it because it's really good this is a topic that actually yeah. like that just triggered in my head with what you said is traveling solo traveling as an introvert because personally i'm introverted like, I'm not like, oh, shit, I just shocked my nose again. Oh, my God. Like, I'm not like those intro introverted people that are just like in a fucking behind the curtains at all times like this. But I recharge being alone. Me too. And then there's people that recharge being social. Those yeah. are the extroverted people. I recharge being alone. So sometimes, like, I'll just be secluded, isolated. Not because I'm lonely and sad. It's just because that's my fucking personality. I fucking enjoy it. So traveling with that, like, natural personality... It's fucking great because it makes you step out of that comfort zone of like, for sure. All right, I yeah. feel good being here by myself. But then there's that natural urge to connect, and you're like, all right, let's go. And then you have a couple drinks, and it's game over. You're like, oh, introverted today. Yeah. Nah. And then you miss your flight. <laughs> and then you miss your flight. <laughs> right, and next you fucking day. travel more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, um, that's so interesting because during these these trips, 
and I've, I've met so many people and everyone has so much to offer and yeah. however there are like two or three you're gonna remember them for the re for the rest of your life because yep. they 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 just say something to you to you and it's a kind of a, a, a trick in your in your mind yeah yeah they 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 give you insight and yeah insights you yeah. start thinking like okay i have i had never thought about that yeah. um if you're if you're willing to listen because yeah there's just yeah it, there's so important because too. like you could be in a crazy deep conversation and the person talking to you could be giving you an amazing insight and amazing information but if you do not know how oh shit my lip but if you do not know how to listen you're not gonna fucking understand what the person is saying yeah like you could just be like you're listening to respond but you're not listening to understand very different so different <laughs> and doing these Ooh, nostradamus <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna be very um no i don't want to be rude but <laughs> yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna Just ask call you it like, out bro say it as during, it is during this during this journey this trip have you met someone in a in a way that just said hmm, i think i'm gonna quit traveling because of this person i mean in a, in a you, romantic relation relationship like what do you mean like i didn't understand the question okay so rephrase we were talking about traveling alone yeah that's it oh there we go yeah okay i think i understand now but yeah sometimes you are in the happy hour in at the bar and you just you're having some some drinks and <laughs> suddenly you meet someone you okay. meet someone there alone too okay and that's a good ass fucking topic. we we, we st you, you start talking and match like there, there's a connection, connection. there's there's, there's a there's harmony there's oh a there, there's an energy going on so have you have you met someone with with that energy yeah. with that with that flow? it's amazing yeah it's incredible because like that's where you learn about unattachment and like the present because yeah. we our emotions are like a fucking roller coaster bro like yeah. one day they're all the way up one day they're all the way down one day they're in the middle that's a, that's the beauty and the importance of balance and tranquility but that's another conversation but m connecting with that person and living that moment i think is like the most magical fucking experiences that i've lived because like there's no anxiety for the future of like Am I gonna be with this person now? Yeah. Am I never gonna find this ever again? Oh my god, I must hold on to this. Oh no, now you're mine, bitch. Like now, nah, like and in your brain try to betray yourself. It tries to, yeah, cause like it, it can't. It, it it almost it's like in a shock where it can't believe that that's yeah. happening. So yeah. it's gonna try to hold be for like from some sort of society bullshit that we think that we gotta hold on to things, but. I feel like those moments are like the most intense, intense and the most times yeah. where I've felt alive. Yeah. C yeah. Because we're talking about um, not thinking about the next day Salah. and yeah. and living the present moment. And we are, we are not used to do that. It's very different. It's a different way of just life. And it's like a different way of philosophy. And it's like, you have to be so emotionally strong. Yeah. For this emotional strength, emotional intelligence, of just like living this magical experience with this random ass traveler you just met. And then, and then continuing your life. And then that person continuing their life. Yeah. Sounds so... Sounds like a fucking movie. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know it's um it's tricky cuz sometimes you meet someone the the, the right person well, there, in I, the wrong moment oh, of your life. Oh. Do you believe there is a right person though? I feel like the right person for us is the person we want to become. All right. Yeah, that's that's why we're always trying to look for somebody yeah. because we're kind of like deviating our attention to the external world when like that person we're looking for is 
what we have to fucking strive to be yeah <laughs> i'm gonna answer your question like i i do not i do not believe i think everything everything will go everything will will just pass and disappear and um, i mean the, the the present moment or the relationship you you've got and that's why i don't believe there is another person in the whole world that <laughs> who like was made who was made <laughs> for me who am i like yeah who do you want to be yeah that's the person you're looking for I, yeah i agree with you yeah because huh? now we're getting fucking deep guys Can yeah really enjoy it Okay. Yeah, stay tuned. Stay <laughs> fucking tuned. I, I still, I'm still like really wondering who the fuck is watching this. That would be me. I mean, like Facebook podcasts go live tomorrow, so we're like, yeah. let's fucking post this shit. By See? the way, we, we're having so much fun. Like, yeah, we're just chilling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. we're not even like trying to like say shit. We're just like, li- this is literally the conversations we just have normally. We're yeah, actually, we were. Yeah, we're chilling in the hammocks outside, and we're just having these conversations. We're like, yo, let's fucking record this shit, bro. Yeah and like see if anybody can connect with it and just for the sake of content content oh creating content creating content this is fucking lit because creating content traveling like posting stories and and shit on like instagram and stuff like that like it's basically like sharing your happiness because it's not like i'm trying to flex my life to somebody that like oh look at how much fun i'm having and you're stuck in a nine-to-five or any of that shit no like like when I when I share content in social media, I'm genuinely happy as fuck doing it. And mostly mostly the main cause why I do it is cause I can fucking rewatch it later in my life. Yeah. It could be five years from now, ten years from now, and I could literally look at my archives if if fucking if AI hasn't taken over the world and be like, Oh my god, look how much fucking fun I was having and then relive moments. Or how and- how much fuck you were. How, how, fuck? How, how much how much fucked how you fucked were. i was how f- <laughs> i don't know how to say that <laughs> how fucked i was yeah okay. how <laughs> fuck you were yeah because yeah or like sometimes when you're fucked and you're sharing it you're like wow i was that fucked back yeah. in the day like yeah that's also true like that contrast or i had that that thought i had that image of of life of life or yeah whatever. yeah 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 it's actually true because like it's funny because some t- I don't know if you ever do this, but I fucking randomly at times, like very sporadically, I just go I go on my Facebook and then I scroll back to when I created it like 12 years ago to see what little high school Juanito was sharing. <laughs> and then I would literally watch and be like, what the fuck am I posting? Like just laughing at myself, not judging myself, just like just laughing like and yeah. then it's it brings me joy in some sort of way like wow bro like we definitely yeah, have grow. been doing great yeah yeah like we definitely grow as people if we decide to grow because some people just stop fucking growing because some people just think that you stop growing when you're when you turn 18 or you go to college or it's like okay i'm an adult now my i have stopped growing like nah, bro you fucking grow to the day you die you could be fucking 99 years old and you can still keep growing yeah but this is when everything starts that's like, when you realize we're yeah. ever at this infinite growth. how how crazy life is and how i don't know dangerous it's humility, bro. that's yeah. why you gotta be so fucking humble towards everything and all the people you meet because everything and everybody including a fucking homeless guy in the street can teach you something if of you course, are open yeah. to learning open to growth yeah and when, yeah and in in about creating content and showing yourself and um, most not people a have fuck what people think because yeah, that's yeah yeah most people have their image of if i'm traveling and i'm posting my my nice video that i recorded on the beach on a caribbean beach or whatever they have the the image that okay this guy is trying to show off or trying to um I don't know to an, an annoy the people and yeah. I st- yeah I started posting more stuff because I believe people wanna see this like wanna visit the place with me and from my point of view yeah yeah um, feel that yeah and when I post someone when I post something when I just share a um, 
even a thought that I that I that I have during my my trip or during my day. I'm sharing because first of all, I I, my I, fucking I, profile, yeah, bitch. Do what I, I have. <laughs> I I wanna share, uh -huh. and second, bro, there are many people out there who has never been to the beach, Colombia, the ocean, the beach, the ocean, yeah, and. When I was um, 21 years old, after my, my, my trip to Chile, two months later, I decided to go to Cartagena. I started planning my trip to Cartagena. And then I realized um, that wasn't a, the, the, the right moment to, to come to Colombia. And I just realized when I was in Cartagena one, one week ago, because bro first of all nothing happens like because there, there there's no there's chance. no reason like yeah, yeah it doesn't chance. happen by chance yeah so uh, i believe that that has to do with harmony actually and yeah frequency. and wh when i was in cartagena i started to i i i i tried to to put myself in 2015 and i couldn't because there's much going on and at that time i was a little a little guy in brazil just <laughs> brazil in brazil and just trying to discover the world and meet people well, i wasn't ready to come to colombia i wasn't ready to share my thoughts and, and share myself like who Lucas are, who Lucas is. So, yeah, I, I I believe I believe in that. If 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 you have a plan to travel or to do, I don't know a degree, whatever. Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't happen when you want. It doesn't happen when you're ready to do that. To do I don't know a trip or stuff like that. And yeah, yeah, and and I, and I didn't share this thought on my Instagram, on my Facebook, because I wasn't ready to say that out to like, okay, guys, that's what I, I, I was thinking. A little self-conscious, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck do I, like, I used to actually like, like before I used to be very self-conscious of the shit I shared on social media. I had this phase, like, actually analyzing my Facebook. Like, when I was a fucking kid posting on Facebook, I was like, yo, I didn't give a fuck what anybody thought. I was just sharing stupid shit, like, putting fucking stupid faces and sharing them. And I was like, yo, look at, look at, little, like, Juan in high school didn't really care. And then, and then life happens to you and you become more fucking, you put up, like, this defense. Yeah. It's like a defensive mechanism. Like, oh my God, what are people going to think about me? Oh my god and then you come out of that shell well hopefully you do some people don't some people do and you're just like i'm gonna fucking share whatever the fuck i want yeah and then after i started doing that if you feel like sharing yeah go for it i start way. yeah after i started doing that like random ass people that i've never met started just hitting me up like yo i like your content i really like the views you share i like the stuff you you're put you're putting out there like it gives me a fresh like a fresh a breath of fresh air because i'm over here stuck in an office all day like making all this money but i'm not living and then i'm i'm just like wow this is good because it's sort of like inspirational in a way but like it's not done in a very it's not done in an egotistical way like oh come get inspired by my life or any of that like like nah bro we all we all have our struggles like we all have our shit we all have our things that we have to our bullshit that we but but it's just that like that thing of like like life like when you see somebody living their life and sharing it without caring what anybody thinks or any judgment like there's connection there and it's very very dope to see that that yeah. like i'm connecting with random ass people and i'm some sort of way inspiring other people to just live their life that they want bro like if you're not fucking happy in new york in an office get the fuck out of there get, out, <laughs> get the fuck yeah. out of there bro there was so much more out in the world don't fucking listen to the news and the media like you're gonna get kidnapped in brazil your organs are gonna get removed in a hostel like nah bro go fucking live yeah and, and, and if you don't like stay in a hostel that's fair enough like if you don't like at least you 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 had you had an experience 
that um, moment. If it went bad, okay. You learn it. Yeah, it <laughs> happens. Yeah. yeah. It's all about sharing stuff, sharing thoughts. I feel like um, knowledge. Yeah, let's. We could start thinking of like a conclusion. If we're an hour in. Ooh, that's fucking dope, bro. An hour of flow state. Ooh, flow state. Let's talk about. Fl- let's end with flow state. Flow state. Yeah. What is flow state? So flow state is a, an altered state of consciousness where your productivity and the way you are creating and your imagination is literally like 600 times. I don't know if it's 600 times, but there's actually specific science that shows it. You can watch. There's a couple of TED talks on it. But basically, it's a state of no resistance. Basically, there's no fucking resistance. There's no friction. There's no pause. It's just infinite creativity and imagination and the things that you can create and the conversations you can have are just things you can't really have if you're resisting or if you're thinking about what you're going to say or you're thinking about what you're going to draw or you're thinking about what you're going to compose or you're thinking about what you're going to like paint that that goes out the window and you're just like like literally flowing like what it says flow state you can actually travel in flow state as well that's basically like sure yeah when you're meeting people like let's do this and you're like let's fucking go like there's no like oh my god should i do it let me do some research yeah. like nah. no yeah traveling is definitely a flow too yeah and it has its flow yeah if you're like an uptight like complicated person like figure that out like i'm not gonna be mean like figure that out why are you like so uptight or like so moody but like definitely just loosen up let that shit go let that shit go um yeah enjoy yourself enjoy yourself enjoy yourself flow with it like you can the most incredible experiences i've had in my life were never planned yeah it just happened i I would say exactly the same (laughs) it just happened yeah all right guys well fucking yeah thank you guys for listening to us talk about random shit <laughs> yeah 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 random no, we shit we fucking love talking about that yeah yeah bro so up on, until the next one yeah why why not all right not? well peace yeah. out guys peace out that's it hey yeah cheers guys <laughs>